Boom! Hello. Welcome to the Mastering X face-to-face -face talk show. Cut the crap. For tonight's talk we've got here the compiler and JVM. And they are battling over the question, who's more important? <coughs> Hi. I am Java. I'm the guy who actually makes a program run. The compiler just gives you a file. <coughs> That's it. Just the file. You can print it out and use it for wallpaper, kindling, lining the birdcage, whatever. But the file doesn't do anything unless I'm there to run it. Yeah! You see, I'm the important one here. I don't appreciate that tone. You're way off. And that's another thing. The compiler has no sense of humor. <laughs> then again, if you had to spend all day checking nitpicky little syntax violations. Excuse me, but without me, what exactly would you run? Ha! Huh. For your information, there's a reason Java was designed to use a bytecode compiler. If Java were a purely interpreted language, where at runtime, the virtual machine had to translate straight from a text editor source code, then the Java program would run, at a ludicrously glacial pace. Hilarious! Java will have a challenging enough time convincing people that it's finally fast and powerful enough for most jobs. I'm not saying you're like completely useless. Absolutely! But, hey! Really? What is it that you do? Seriously? I have no idea. A programmer could just write bytecode by hand, and I'd take it. You might be out of a job soon, buddy. Wait a minute. That's quite an ignorant perspective. Well, while it is true that, theoretically you can run any properly formatted bytecode, even if it didn't come out of a Java compiler. In practice that's absurd. A programmer writing bytecode by hand? <laughs> It is like doing your word processing by writing raw postscript. And I would appreciate it, if you... <laughs> if you would not refer to me as buddy. But you still didn't answer my question, buddy. What do you actually do? <coughs> Impressive. Just kidding. Now, listen. Remember that Java is a strongly typed language. And that means I can't allow variables to hold data of the wrong type. This is a crucial safety feature, and I'm able to stop the vast majority of violations before they ever get to you. And I also- Seriously! But some still get through. Look! I can throw class cast exceptions. And sometimes I get people trying to put the wrong type of thing in an array that was declared to hold something else. And- Excuse me. I wasn't done speaking yet. And yes, there are some data type exceptions that can emerge at runtime but some of those have to be allowed to support one of Java's other important features. Dynamic binding. At runtime, a Java program can include new objects that weren't even known to the original programmer, so I have to allow a certain amount of flexibility. But my job is to stop anything that would never, could never, succeed at runtime. Usually I can tell when something won't work. For example, if a programmer accidentally tried to use a button object as a socket connection, I would detect that and, thus, protect him from causing harm at runtime. <coughs> Easy! Okay, great! Fabulous! But, what about security? Look at all the security stuff I do, and you're like, what? Checking for semicolons? Oh my god! Big security risk. Thank goodness! Ouch! Shocking! Stop bugging me! As they say, I am the first line of defense. The data type violations I previously described could wreak havoc in a program if they were allowed to manifest. I'm also the one who prevents access violations, such as code trying to invoke a private method, or change a method that for security reasons must never be changed. I stop people from touching code they're not meant to see. Including code trying to access another class's critical data. It would take hours, perhaps days even, to describe the significance of my work. Surprise! Anyway, I have to do that same stuff too, buddy. Just to make sure nobody snuck in after you and changed the bytecode before running it. Sure. But as I indicated previously, 
If I didn't prevent what amounts to perhaps 99% of the potential problems, you would grind to a halt. Mmm. And it looks like we're out of time, so we'll have to revisit this in a later chat. Later, alligator. Oh. You can count on it, buddy. Let's talk later. <laughs>